Last year, not having a state fair kind of left us scratching our heads. The fine arts exhibition was online. It was digital, and that was pretty much the only way you were going to get to see it. But this year, let not your hearts be troubled, the fair is back. And you can come see all of the artwork on display live and in person in the fine arts building. Bounce back year for entries. Last year we were down a bit, uh, about 1,700, which was understandable given the current conditions. I found no shortage of talent from the Northwest Metro. This year we had over 2,400 entries. And from those 2,400 plus entries that were submitted. There are 321 that were accepted for display across eight classes of competition, that is categories. All of the artists have their respective cities next to their names. We have a great representation of artists in that in Northwest Metro area. In fact, right behind you, Neil, is a work by Rachel Arnson, a mosaic, and she's from Maple Grove. It is really an interesting cross-section of the state. You'll see everything from the sublimely beautiful to the questioningly quizzical to the truly bizarre. It runs the full spectrum of materiality and subject matter. The amount of work that it takes to sift through the submission process and then accept and hang the selections is monumental. The hours put in by Jim and his staff at the Fine Arts Building are considerable. But the result is a show that reflects the best of the art world from across the state of Minnesota. From the Minnesota State Fair, Neil Persley, CCX News.